Hello, today I'm going to show you how to put custom food items into your 5M server. So, if you don't know how to add items in general to your 5M server, you can go to my GitHub repository. I'll leave this in the description below. And you can download this. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to pull it up. And this will just have a template in here for new and old QB Core. The old one is the top one, the new one is the bottom one. Whichever one you have, just copy the whole line all the way over. Make sure you copy which one you need. Uh, in our example today, we're going to do this top one. So you're going to head over to your resources folder for your 5M server. You want to go into QB. Then you want to go to QB Core, shared items.lua. You want to scroll down and find a spot to put your custom items or item. Uh, right here is going to be the example I'm using today. It's going to be Gimme Sharks. It's just going to be a snack item that I put into the convenience stores. So you want to paste that template in here. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just copy one of these and then just replace the things inside of them. Put your item in here. Make sure you have an image ready for your item. You want to make sure you put that image into your inventory folder. You want to go to HTML images. You want to drop that image into here. The image needs to be 100 by 100. So keep that in mind. 100 by 100 needs to be the size of the image. Otherwise, it'll be stretched out or it won't show up at all. And you want to go back. Once you've added your item and you've thrown your image into this folder, you want to scroll down into your QB folder and go to QB Small Resources. You want to open up QB or the Config Lua. Sorry. You want to scroll down until you see config.consumables. This is the food and this is the drink section. Now, for this example, we're going to have to do a, a, a food item, which is also just going to be our snack item, which is going to be gummy sharks. So, you want to copy one of these or whatever these other ones are up here. It doesn't matter which one. You want to copy one. And keep in mind, when you copy one of these, don't leave a comma like this at the end or it'll mess it up and it won't, your server won't start. It'll leave you a black screen or something. Make sure you have the last one without a comma on it. And then these are the random amounts that the food or drink can replenish uh, your hunger or your thirst meter. So in this case, I'm going to do 25. I want it to be absolutely 25, so I'm doing 25 and 25. If you want it to be random, you could set it to 10 and 25 or, you know, 5 and 50 if you want to do. But for this case, in this example, we're just going to do 25 and 25. We want it to give us 25% uh, replenished health or replenished hunger. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to paste this here. Once you've done that, you want to save it and close it. And then you want to restart your 5M server. And then once you're in your 5M server, you want to head over to your store or give yourself the item. In this case, I'm going to go to the store, to the shop. I'm going to buy some gummy sharks just to show you that it works. I'll buy a couple of them. Sorry, I just smoked in there, so I had a cigarette in my hand. All right, and I'm going to double click. As you can see, my hunger is a little bit low, probably about 20% low. I'm going to eat one of these. You can also change the prop. As you see, I'm eating it. And then as, if you watch, the hunger has gone up, and it says feeling more relaxed. And that's how you add custom food items into your 5M server. I will show also... Um, if you go into the config of your QB core, or if your QB uh, small resources, if you scroll down, there's room for a custom item. You can add as many of these as you want. You can follow this template, and what you would do is uncomment these by deleting these dash marks after uh, after you've added all these in. You cut uh, delete all the dash marks to make it work. You'd put your item here. You can change the animation. Um, what I would do for this. Uh, is kind of go over to your uh, QB Core. Let me find it. Client consumables. 
I would go here. If you want to make a custom one, scroll down. This one says eat. So you want to kind of follow this template right here to put right here. And then you can change the prop, what it says when you're using it, how long it takes to eat the item or consume the item. Um, the important part is probably the prop and the coordinates. You want to make sure you're copying something that's going to work, such as the food item uh, prop and coordinates right here and the rotation. Uh, the event, you need to keep that same. And then you can edit your stress uh, relief if you want to add that in there as well. This is just for custom items and custom animations, custom props. Um, that's if you want to really customize the entire event that happens when you eat that item. If you guys have any questions, you guys can leave comments. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, I'll have that link below. I'll also have a link to my 5M server as well if you want to join that and check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.